Hey everybody, Drew here, and today I have a pile of AR pistol parts. This build comes courtesy of Ethan, who you guys are gonna meet out at the range. He was gracious enough to give me all these parts so I can put together this AR pistol. It's got a few unique pieces to it, which I'll explain as I'm putting it together. I'm not gonna go into great detail about putting pins in and stuff like that. There's plenty of videos on YouTube that you can find that'll show you how to do all that. And then once we have this pistol together, we're gonna head out to the range, we're gonna sight it in, and then we're gonna compare it to some other AR pistols that we have of similar caliber. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so for this build, we're using Wild Arms upper and lower receivers. These are the signature series. These are milled out of a solid block of aluminum. And for the parts kit, we're using Rise Armaments kit here. All right, so right off the bat, we're gonna get the magazine release installed, but we have an Armaspec extended mag release right here that we're gonna be installing. So right off the bat, ran into a snag with the mag release. This Wild Arms lower comes with a proprietary bolt catch system right here. So when you try to depress your extended mag release, it actually is interfered with by that system. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and put on the standard mag release, and then Ethan can decide what he wants to do with it from there. All right, so up next, guys, we're gonna try to get in this Geisley Maritime Bolt Catch. Put the spring in, the plunger in, the roll pin in. Now the weird thing about this Wild Arms lower receiver is that once this roll pin is in, it's not coming out. So make sure that this is exactly what you want. The front side, there is no hunching that roll pin back out. So make sure that this is what you want. So I hope this is what you want, Ethan. All right guys, next up is the Franklin Armory three position selectable binary trigger. It does come with a buffer spring, but with the system that we're using, we're not gonna be using this. We are just gonna be using the trigger itself. So now we install the safety selector, make sure your hammer is in the firing position. We're going to install this. All right guys, now the safety selector is installed. Single fire, binary fire. All right, so now we're gonna put the takedown pins in. So this is going to be a bufferless system and I'll show you here in a little bit when we start working on the upper. All the spring, and get this installed. It does come with its own hex key. So I'm just gonna make it nice and tight. Since this is a bufferless system, I do not need the buffer retaining spring or pin. So then from there, you add this pin in the back. It says to torque this down to three foot pounds, which isn't a lot, so we'll just make sure it's tight. And this should be torqued down to 15 foot pounds, just like that. All right guys, now that the lower is all put together, everything's in place and been function checked, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the upper. So again, for the upper, we have the Wild Arms upper receiver from the Signature Series. We have the 300 Blackout barrel, which I believe this is a one and eight twist. Yeah. Injection port cover. We have the Honey Badger handguard kit. We'll go ahead and get the barrel installed. All right, after a little beating with a brass hammer, I did get it seated all the way in. Uh, now we're gonna use the Honey Badger barrel nut, which is this right here. Put that on. So 
now I'm gonna go ahead and torque this down. It says to torque it down to 50 foot pounds on the barrel nut itself. All right guys, I had to take a break with the camera and my battery died, but I went ahead and fully assembled the upper receiver here. Some of the things you didn't see me put in, a uh, barrel nut, did put in the gas system which was one of the unique pieces that Ethan decided to put in. It might be kind of hard to see here, but this is the modular gas control system by Rifle Speed. It has numbers one through 12, so as you choose different ammos using suppressors or whatnot, you can easily just dial in and it'll adjust the gas system accordingly for you. So that's the Rifle Speed modular gas control system. The barrel nut and the handguard kit, these are Honey Badger parts. It uses a turnbuckle system to hold the handguard in place here on the bottom. So far, Ethan hasn't chosen a muzzle device for this firearm particularly. Uh, he does plan on getting a 30 cal suppressor for this. Now, the other part that makes this build a little different, like I told you before, with the lower, it's a bufferless system. So in order to use this bufferless weapon system, Ethan had to buy a different BCG. He went with Evolution Weapon Systems. This is a two-piece bolt carrier group. When the gun fires, the bolt carrier group will travel back on these two rods, hit that end plate, and then that larger spring in the back. There aren't many reviews on this specific bolt carrier group from Evolution Weapon Systems. There are other systems just like this, uh, but this is just the one that Ethan went with for his build. Oh, also he did go with the Radian Raptor SD for his charging handle, ambidextrous, tomahawk style. So we'll go ahead and get the Raptor in. Bolt carrier can go in behind it. And then this goes in just like that. And get it in place. Now one of the problems I ran into when I did assemble this once, uh, the dust cover does not close, and that was an issue when selecting this bull carrier group. All right, guys, that'll do it for the build. That's the 300 blackout for Ethan. He hasn't chosen an optic yet or whether or not he wants to SBR it, which is why I have this folding stock right here. I'm not going to put it on there because that would be a felony without the tax stamp. Stay tuned for the range test for this AR pistol. I'll be pitting it up against the Jackal PSA that I have. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next video.